So in this question, we're looking at the 2018 Leaving Cert Higher Level Paper 2, Question 4. It says, find all the values of x for which cos 2x is equal to minus root 3 over 2. So with this question, you should first consider what quadrants is cos negative in. So all sine, tan, cos. We know cos is going to be positive. In the first and in the fourth quadrants, where is it going to be negative? It's going to be negative in the second, and it's going to be negative in the third quadrants. So this is what 2x is, and this is what 2x is. Now, when dealing with the negative values here, we should consider the reference angle. So this angle here is the reference angle, and this angle here is the reference angle. How to find the reference angle is we take the positive version of our answer, or of the question. So go cos or is equal to root 3 over 2. And I'm dealing with degrees, so making sure your calculator is in degrees, and you're looking for the cos inverse then. So or is equal to cos inverse, root 3 over 2, 3 over 2, and you get or to be 30 degrees. You can see then the purple angle is smaller than 180 degrees, so that's 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 30, 2x is equal to 150 degrees, and we add on a full circle, so it's normally 2n pi if I was dealing with radians, but now I'm dealing with degrees, so I add on n360, so I'm adding on a full circle. I don't know how many full circles I'm adding on, so I'm adding on n of them. Similarly for the red one then, it's bigger than 180 degrees, so it's 180 degrees plus the reference angle, which was 30, so 2x is equal to 210. And similarly, again, I would add on 2n pi if I was working in degrees, but I'm not working in degrees. I'm working, or sorry, if I was working in radians, but I'm working in degrees. So I add on n360. At this point, I divide by 2, so I get x is equal to 75 degrees plus n180. And I would get over here, x is equal to 105 degrees plus n180. The values of n that I use are dictated by this number here. I want double the number of answers that is this number here. So if it was 4, I would want 8 answers. If it was 3, I'd want 6 answers, and so on. So the values that I use are 0 and 1. If it was 3, I would use n is equal to 0, 1, 2. If it was 4, I'd use 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So n I'm going to use is 0 and 1. n is equal to 0. x would equal to be 75. 0 times 180 is 0. Uh, n is equal to 1. I'd get 75 plus 180. 75 plus 180 is 255 degrees. So x is equal to 255 degrees. Over here, when I go n is equal to 0 and n is equal to 1, I'll get x is equal to 105 degrees, and then add on 180, x is equal to 285 degrees if I used n is equal to 1, so it would be 105 plus 180. Very, very typical question and a very nice question. The second part of the question is a little bit more unusual. So we know that cos a is equal to y over root 2. And we want to write sine 2a in terms of y. So sine 2a, we want sine 2a is equal something with y's in it. So you should really consider your log tables at this point. And on page 14 is what your brain should skip to straight away. We know that sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. That sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a and I actually know what cos a is so sine 2a 
is equal to 2 sine a by y over 2. And I can multiply the 2 into the sine, or I could multiply the 2 into the y over 2. So I get sine 2a is equal to sine a by y. So now the issue is this sine a. How can I get that on its own? Well, I know that cos a over here, cos is always defined as adjacent over hypotenuse. So if I were to draw out a right angle triangle and call this a, and it's y over 2, this is going to be y, this is going to be 2, and I want to find sine a. Well, sine is defined as what? Opposite over hypotenuse. So I need to be able to find this opposite side here. Okay, I'm going to call it O. And I know that 2 squared is equal to y squared plus O squared. So that's 4 is equal to y squared plus O squared. 4 minus y squared is equal to O squared. O is equal to the square root. 4 minus y squared. So then what would sine a be? Sine a would be opposite over the hypotenuse. 4 minus y squared all over 2 is sine. So now I can sub that back in here. And I get sine 2a is equal to 4 minus y squared all over 2 times y. I think that's good enough for your answer, but it might be nice to just finish it off by making it look a little bit neater. Remember, this is y over 1. So I'm multiplying the two fractions together, top by top, bottom by bottom. What do you end up with? y, 4 minus y squared all over 2. We just have time then to look at the marks going for the question. Very generous first question, 20 marks going for it. I doubt that would ever be repeated again. Um, it should really only be a 10, maybe a 15 mark question. And then obviously only five marks going for the second part. Probably wasn't too well answered, but not the most difficult question in the world as you can see. Hopefully the video helped you.